Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. A beer review with a difference, because in this beer review, I am not reviewing the beer. Uh, Barry at All The Beer No Idea is reviewing the beer. And I'll tell you why. Because a few about two weeks ago, I sent Barry a box of beer. Little knowing that a week later, he decided to to stop his channel well, to knock his channel on the head um, and stop reviewing beer. So I sent him a box and he's very kindly reviewed the beer and sent me the review. Um, and to be honest, there's about two or three beers, three or four, maybe th three or four of them might be coming up. And because he's shutting his channel down, he's very kindly given me permission to put it on my channel. So... Um, this is what we're going to do. Um, first of all, this review is um, a beer called Chisk. Now, whenever I buy a box or buy a box or buy beers for, for a box to send away, um, I always think carefully what beers to send. Uh, doesn't matter who it is. And there's always a reason I have for sending a particular beer. Now, the particular beer with this Maltese Lager... Um, I already reviewed the bottle and can version on my channel. And um, a lad at my work, Davey Poulter, thank you, mate, for giving me them, um, gave me another couple of cans of this. And um, my main plan was to, whenever I went to Spain, to pick up a Spanish San Miguel and or a super bock and compare them um that never materialized because i forgot to buy the san miguel so i decided i uh, <laughs> i decided to send one to baz to review so this that's the reason why we have got chisk so i'm gonna end i'm gonna stop talking now because the cat's making a twat of himself over there. I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to get myself a can of beer or, yeah, a can of beer and sit back and enjoy watching Baz's review of Chisk. Welcome back, JB. Thanks for joining me for another beer review, my one and only subscriber at this very moment in time. Uh, right, mate, we are looking at a beer that a subscriber sent in to me. Must have been one of the other ones. Uh, and it's from Northern Southerner Beer Reviews. You may have heard of him. And this very kind man sent me a Maltese lager, which I've never heard of before. Never had a Maltese lager before. Uh, and what he sent me was a can of Sisk Lager Beer. 330ml can, 4.2%. Now, I don't know what the sort of artwork on cans is in uh, Malta, but that looks very sort of... Uh, Eastern European, shall we? That's it, doesn't it? It looks very sort of, uh, very sort of Berlin Wall, you know, very old, doesn't it? It looks very old, mate. It looks very old. Uh, and by the way, before we move on, JB, check out Northern Southerner Beer Reviews if you haven't subscribed to his channel. He's actually very good at it. So uh, I'm going to stop talking shit. Let's get this cracked open. And see what we get. Obviously, I don't have a cis glass. And I've got a clean one. A lot of people frown upon having a clean glass. But uh, I don't care. You know what I mean? Let's get a cracked open. See what we get. I've had a busy old day, mate. I tell you. Uh, lots of sanding down and stuff. In and out of this job. I've even done a bit at home. So if I'm looking a bit pale or dusty, that's probably why. So, there we go. Sisk lager beer in a glass. Just give the glass a tap. There's a few bubbles stuck on there. So, looks quite nice actually. Uh, a light sort of straw lemon sort of colour to me. Holding it up against the light, you're probably seeing different. Uh, good bubbles going up with just a sort of a thick dusting of white on top. Uh, now, I don't know if you've had this before, mate. Uh, you'll have to let me know. Let's dive in, have a sniffers. <laughs> a lemon citrus note, definitely lemon in there. 
Hoppy, a little bit of a peppery bite. It's a funny one on the nose for me, mate. It, uh, it sort of half smells awful and half smells all right. So I'm not sure where to go with it. Let's just dive in, give her a taste. Cheers. Ooh. I don't think that's bad, actually. That's not bad. For me, anyway, in my opinion. It's quite busy in the mouth, quite well carbonated, but not, it doesn't feel too rough, but it is, it is quite busy. It's not the smoothest mouthfeel, of course, with all that carbonation. Body of the beer is all right. Yeah, it's not heavy, but it's certainly not thin. It's, uh, you know, I think with the body, it helps maybe sort of tone the carbonation down to, to give it a slightly better mouthfeel. But like I said, the mouthfeel is a little bit rough around the edges, but it's not tearing your palate apart. On the taste, I get a nice hoppy sort of note. A little bit of pepperiness. That's pretty much the first thing that comes in. Slightly after that, I get a nice little bready note for me. A little bit of maltiness in there. Well, you're getting the maltiness. You're getting the bready note, really, from the maltiness. But I would say you, it's more bread sort of maltiness that you taste. So sort of like the bready side of things. Rather than the maltiness. The maltiness sort of comes in a little bit later, I would say. It's almost like the breadiness wears off and, and the lemon and the this pepperiness. And then you're left with that sort of malty, malty note. And that's what I think to start off with when I was smelling it. Where it sort of smelt a little bit cheap. Uh, but in all fairness, I think this is pretty decent, mate. I think, you know, I, I don't know if you've had this before. So I could be looking a right twat here. But I think that's all right. 4.2%. I think that drink's really good. It is pretty, uh, it's pretty refreshing. I'm not going to say it's got the clean cleanness or crispness of, say, like a Pilsner, which you probably wouldn't expect. But I bet this would go down well in mortar, uh, especially if you've got a nice bit of sun there. That's a nice, nice, crisp, refreshing drink. Like I say, 4.2%. That's got good flavour for something of that ABV, I think. Uh, yeah, I like it, pal. I like it. I think that's quite good. You'll have to let me know if you've had it. Uh, that's it for this one, pal. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you on me next one. <laughs>